guys, how's it going? I'm gonna talk about cow wheel in oh, this video. Okay. Yeah, cow wheel is a like really easy skill if gymnasts can do it. However, like if kids, yeah, they cannot do it, it's like extremely tough to coach this skill. It's like zero or one, something like that. Yeah, in this video, I'm gonna talk about cow wheel, not for recreation. I know like most of you guys have problem in recreation gymnastics. But I'm gonna talk about cow wheel that is used for for competitive gymnastics. And I'm gonna talk about why we do this, what kind of cow wheel we wanna do, and how to teach. Same as usual. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so why cow wheel? This is like quite easy. Like after we run cow wheel, we wanna do round off. Then we use round off for sure for back tumbling. So we wanna make sure gymnasts can do good round off. Then before that we wanna run cow wheel. Also doing cow wheel, you know, that gives gymnasts to run how to balance. Also when we start cow wheel, we have to support with one arm and kind of feeling of, you know, flipping around. So this is really good basic stuff. Yeah, so that was why. Then what is like what kind of cow wheel we wanna teach to gymnasts who are wanna do it. So I think there are two big common errors. One is like when they get handstand, their body position is not good, like arch, they don't split their legs very well. So with that body position, we cannot do straight, stable cow wheel. Yeah, then also like the second one is like, yeah, no straight, going crocky. Actually, I already talked about handstand position. Because of handstand position, we cannot stay straight or the part we get handstand we cannot get straight or something like that we see this problem a lot but we want to make sure their cow wheel is straight good body position these two to be able to do good round of later yeah this is what we want to make sure about yeah now let's talk about how we can teach or like what kind of training we should do for gymnasts i'm going to talk about cow wheel with three different parts kick to handstand, handstand position and coming down yeah so the kick to handstand part uh, first of all they have to be able to kick to handstand very well so I already talked about that in this video if you, you never watch it maybe it's better to check it so if they can do it then we can start very well yeah I already mentioned like you know when they get handstand actually they have to start supporting their body with one arm then both uh, so this is like actually quite tough you know then i'm assuming like they never done one hand handstand but they have to do it so i usually uh use like this like make wall to get you know handstand position on stomach like this if they can do it and they can try other way like this both way to understand you know how to get up then what body position we wanna finish with yeah, then the second part, handstand position. Yeah, like when gymnasts try a cow wheel, like before that, like we want to make this kind of handstand position. However, like, you know, usually they never done actually split handstand. Also, like I told, like I already talked, like when we get up handstand, we have to support our body with one arm. So we have to teach what split handstand is and kind of the steps with uh, one arm so I usually teach this handstand split position can they actually make good body position here if they don't have enough flexibility they have to arch or something to try to you know split legs a lot then next step will be like can they actually step with this position then we can understand oh actually they can balance with split handstand then third part is like you know standing up so there are two ways to stand up finish with the side away or finish with this way like for round off yeah so the finishing side away one i usually do kick to handstand then standing up with quarter turn then we can do this with the wall like this we do cow wheel get side away to finish side away too yeah so this is for side of Cow wheel. Then if you wanna do like cow wheel for round off, we can just kick to handstand, switch legs, 
they finish like this. This is quite easy. You know, like we have to make sure they, when they get up, they actually push with one arm and get up. The feeling, we want to teach it up very well. Yeah, that's it. So also like the feeling, like when we do cowwheel, for example, I do cowwheel this way. With the situation, I usually put, you know, left leg, left hand, right hand, right leg. Something like that. So if gymnasts really don't understand anything, this could be a pretty good idea to teach them the rhythm and what body position we want to put on floor. Yeah, that's it. So cowboy, I'm pretty sure like so many coaches struggle with teaching cowboy, especially in recreation, something like that. So this time I talked about just for competitive, but cowboy is really important, especially girls, like, you know, they have to do cowboy on beam. They have to make sure they do really good cowboy and round off. Even boys, if we cannot do straight cowboy, we cannot do Yurchenko, or like it makes harder to do round off backhand sprint stuff. So it's better to have straight round off when we are young. Yeah, that's it. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have better idea or different idea, please let me know. Okay, thank you for watching. See ya.